There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. Luke 15, verse 10. The angels prostrated themselves at the feet of their commander and offered to become a sacrifice for man. But an angel's life could not pay the debt. Only he who created man had power to redeem him. Yet the angels were to have a part to act in the plan of redemption. Christ was to be made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. As he should take human nature upon him, his strength would not be equal to theirs, and they were to minister to him, to strengthen and soothe him under his sufferings. They were able to be ministering spirits, sent forth to minister for them who should be heirs of salvation. They would guard the subjects of grace from the power of evil angels and from the darkness constantly thrown around them by Satan. If you are in communion with Christ you will place his estimate upon every human being. You will feel for others the same deep love that Christ has felt for you. Then you will be able to win, not drive, to attract, not repulse, those for whom he died. In this work, all the angels of heaven are ready to cooperate. All the resources of heaven are at the command of those who are seeking to save the lost. Angels will help you to reach the most careless and the most hardened. And when one is brought back to God, all heaven is made glad. Seraphs and cherubs touch their golden harps and sing praises to God and the Lamb for their mercy and loving kindness to the children of men.